Hey, welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to look at how you should set up your graphic sliders within X-Plane 11 so you get some beautiful scenery and you also get some decent FPS. So, let's get to it. And welcome back to Let's Fly VFR, everyone. I thought I would take us through uh, setting up our graphics in X-Plane 11. Uh, a lot of new people coming into X-Plane uh, you see a lot of questions out there on what should I do, where should I go, and it's not a matter of just copying some, what someone else has got because it's very reliant on your own personal system. So let's do a quick review of uh, my system. Mine is not uh, the best and most powerful system in the world, for sure. It is, uh, let's have a look over here, I've got the 8350, the FX8350 processor. It's running at 4.4 gig currently which is uh, pretty good. That's just using the Turbo Boost, which is on my new motherboard, which was why I haven't been out making videos the last couple of weeks. So this is September of 2018. I've had a couple of weeks off because that was broken. And uh, on the video card side of things, we have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. So that's a four gigabyte card. Uh, it is not overclocked currently. So that's the system. And I would highly recommend that you have these guys if you're doing any overclocking just to check your temperatures. You can see it's running very cool. I am on water. I do have an uh, AIO in here from Cooler Master. So it keeps it fairly cool. And uh, this is the other part, the second tab, the sensors. When we're doing our video here, what is important is how much... Uh, of the VRAM on the video card that we fill up. Don't confuse that with the RAM on your system, guys, uh, of which I have 16 gig of DDR3. But we have four gig to play with on the video card. So we've got to be very careful we don't put too much in here. And our GPU loads, so it's running over 56, 57% at the moment. And our amount of memory loaded, as we are currently, is only a 633 meg. So we have up to four gig. Now, what I would highly recommend is if you keep it to about 3.7, 3.8 as a max, leave yourself just a little headroom because it does seem to get unstable if you push it right up towards the 4 gig point. So let's tuck that away for the moment. Let's have a look at the settings tab here. And one other, the data output. If you want to see what your FPS is here, just click this one here on the data output. So graphics. Now, if you're not familiar, we have these two groups of sliders. The sliders here on the right are CPU orientated. Okay, they're all down to your processor. This side is all down to your GPU or your video card. Okay, now if you're running uh, a laptop or something with just onboard graphics, you're probably going to struggle a little bit, guys. These, so here, number of world objects, reflection detail. Um, I don't see it as being super crucial, but this is. Otherwise, you end up with a flat bare. Um, landscape ahead of you uh, visual effects and quality these are the two that I think you've got to work on first and I do have the um, field of view and a little bit wider as well guys I like it like that so let's start first let's grab the world objects and let's put that up to medium as a start hit OK and then we'll start a new flight now Choose where you normally fly. If you fly at a really busy airport, which has lots and lots of things going on, start there because it will make a difference. Gawler is where I normally fly because that's my home real world airport when I'm flying Jabiru's in Australia. And uh, so that's where I fly from mostly. So I'm going to start there. I need to just exit out of Windows, I exit out of X Plane, and start all over again. Yeah, so I got a couple of graphics issues with that. Got to sort those out yet, but that's by the by. So here we are, and you can see it looks pretty yuck, doesn't it? It's it's not great. We do have a bit of textures out there. We have some stuff going on. We're down uh, the far end of the runway, but the carpet looks yuck, and everything's blurry and and all the rest of it. But you got to start somewhere. So what are we at? Our FPS is showing. 26? That's a bit ridiculous. Let's just pop out. Sometimes it needs a moment to catch, its, catch up with its life. So hit the C button, go up, and let's have a look and see what's outside. So we've got some textures. It's not looking real great, is it? 
It's pretty bare. Now getting 80, 70, 80 FPS. Let's jump back in here. Sometimes it takes a moment for it to sort its life out. So we get back in here and we're sitting at 44 FPS currently. So let's move on out. Not happy with that. Um, world objects, I'm okay with that. That could even come back a little bit. It wouldn't be that much of a drama, I think. But texture quality, I'm going to slide that right up to about high because I know that that's okay. But depending on your system, you might want to go one step at a time and just see what the differences are in how much VRAM you're using and uh, in your FPS because you want as many uh, frames per second as you possibly can. So let's hit OK. Now this has not changed. It hasn't done a reboot. So I will do a re system reset or uh, an X-Plane reload and then I'll be back with you in a moment. For OK guys, we've had a reset of X-Plane. We've come back. Um, we're still getting 43 to 45 frames per second which is pretty nice. But we have a lot more clarity in here we don't have any glass reflections or anything yet we'll see if we can get some of those but our textures within the cockpit our chairs and everything so I've stolen my legs are, um, are looking a lot better so that's that's good we're heading in the right direction let's check and see how much VRAM we've used so let's go down here and we'll get our GPU Z out have a quick look and we're running at 3 gig at the moment so we've got 3 gig there so FPS is pretty good 45 is fine now if we were to get some clouds and stuff they would probably drop back away so you've got to remember everything that you see has to be drawn so it's going to take up a little bit of horsepower CPU side of things not to worry about that we, we may look at that when we go for a quick fly and see how well that works on the cores as well because uh, there's been a lot of work done and I've seen all the cores running at about 100% so uh, a lot of optimization being done in the background by Lamina. Great work, guys. So, 3.8 gig. Can we make it better? Let's have a look outside first. Put that away. See, we go up and have a look around and see what the world looks like. Does it look any better? Now, I'm running zoom level 19. That's looking a little nicer now. A little nicer. Yeah, so it's ortho zoom level 19 around the airport and around all the airports in the Adelaide area. This is fairly, um, it's reasonably accurate. The um, covers here aren't quite right, but anyway, it's a good representation of what we have here at Adelaide at Gawler Airport. Okay, let's go back down. We've got a little bit of space left. So let's have a look again at our settings and what would we like next? Visual effects. Let's just bring those up a little because this is selected to stay on top so it'll, it'll do that. Visual effects, let's bring that up to low. Let's go OK. It's done a little setup there. Can we see any changes? We can see some reflection in the glass. I'm not sure if that was there before. So we're seeing a little bit of reflection here now. We've lost a couple of FPS, so that's um, that just tells me that it's actually taking something into account, so I'm happy with that. And around the cockpit's looking good, so what else could we have? If we go back here, what if we add reflection detail, just a little bit, and go OK. So we did, you can see we did a little reset. We've lost a couple more FPS, so we're sitting at 38 to 40. So that's pretty good. We haven't got any, any too much on the jagness. There's a little jagginess here. Look out along the wing. We've got detail along the wing. So it's looking pretty good. So that would probably be a fairly nice place to uh, to start with your, your flying and your setup. So I would be pretty happy with it at about that point. Let's see how much... VRAM we're now utilizing. We're using 3.1, so I'm, I'm game to uh, push up a little bit further and see what other niceties we can bring in here. So 
what would be best reflection detail I think I would leave that there the quality let's see if we can bring the quality up to maximum I'm a little reluctant to do it because I think it might crash so we'll do OK I don't know what that's come up and I will do a restart I think and we'll see where we end up so we're at 3.151 megabyte 3 gig 3.1 gig well guys I uh, reset it and it crashed so that setting uh, it didn't like it at all so we're back at 3 gig what I've done is I've just brought the anti-aliasing up a little bit now what I could probably do to trade that off if I want Okay guys, let's go for a run. So we're running at 3.9. Okay guys, let's go for a circuit around uh, Gawler and just see how the whole system is working. So again, 4.4 gig, we're, um, we've got 3.9, so that's really, really close. Um, I might consider dropping down anti-aliasing or something and see if that just drops it back, and gives me back another 100 megabyte or so. Um, fans and what else we got GPU loads 100% so can't ask any more than that can we so let's so uh, we've got rudders working controls are working we better turn our fuel pump on and then we <laughs> need to grab everything back again uh, there we go that's up that's up okay let's uh, let's head out and have a look and see how the system operates bit of right rudder now we're at 3940 FPS which is not bad pretty smooth and this is all vanilla as well guys I haven't got any add-ons at all there's no plugins well, there we go 50 55 just nosing a little bit a little bit of back pressures just get the nose wheel off and let it fly off itself now the next video uh, coming out on Let's Fly VFR will be all to do with VFR flying and perspectives as we do things like this, climb and descend and turn and where you're sitting, whether you're sitting left and right seat and all this sorts of stuff because I see everybody gets so caught up on this little fella here when you have a, a big horizon out there as we can see to look at. Head round one to three one. We're heading at three one, which parallels our other runway. There we go. Let's continue around on the downwind. Radio calls, all things that are appropriate. Cessna one seven two turning downwind for runway zero. Uh, runway two three. Gotta fix up my controls. Even there are not set up properly at the moment. Gained a lot of extra height. Let's get the power down. Do our checks, flaps down, 75 FPS, which is pretty nice. Let's grab the power, let's get our displays back up.
around again. Now, I just looking at the scenery, I think I might forego some of the graphic side of things, the uh, texture, and get some more uh, objects back. I think I might do that, that trade is what I'm thinking. Should be more buildings around here and stuff, so let's do that. Okay. I'm going to land a little long. There we go. Looking at the far end, looking at the horizon, looking at the reference between your cowling and that. Keep yourself off. Little rudder. There we go. Maintaining a little bit of back stick so we don't put weight on the nose wheel. And some brakes. There we go. We still managed to stop before we got to the cross strip. So, that's good. So, I think that will do us, guys. I hope that's been helpful. So, for me, I think that's going to come back here and that's going to go back up there. And I think I'll get some better performance. I don't think I'll lose that greatly visually. And I think that will go really well. So, until next time, thanks for taking the time to watch my video with me. And... If you've got any questions, please feel free to hit something up in the comments and I will catch you again soon on Let's Fly VFR. Well, I hope you found that helpful, guys. If you're new to the channel, feel free to uh, subscribe. It's been a great year, just coming up to 12 months at the end of this video here, the 29th September 2018. And if you're a returning viewer, hey, thanks, guys, for coming back. And we'll see you again soon on Let's Fly VFR and the next video.